What's up everyone? So today's video, I just want to review with you guys, hopefully quickly, what active grill shutters are, how they work, and why they're on a Ram 1500 truck from 2013 to 2018 currently. If you have an 8-speed transmission, you have active grill shutters on your truck. So um, the last video I showed how to delete them. Today I wanted to talk about why they're on here, what they're supposed to do, and why I actually deleted mine. Okay, so here's a set of active grill shutters, AGS, already removed from the vehicle. Basically, you can see it's upside down right now, but this is how it would sit in the vehicle. You have basically an open section here that does not have shutters in it, and then you have all these grills here and these are the active portion of it that can uh, be variable so these are motor controlled and basically the motor would reside normally back here in the middle and it's all connected they're all connected as as one so all of these move um, together and basically what happens is when you guys first start your vehicle it will move all the way from fully closed to fully open and it will check the range of motion to make sure that there's nothing stuck in these, they're not jammed, because if they were jammed, it could potentially overheat. So it always is going to be double checking when you first start the vehicle to make sure that these operate as they should and that there's nothing wrong with them. So with that being said, that's the kind of procedure that they're gonna go through. They're gonna check to make sure they open and close properly. And then why are these on the truck? So the reason that these are on the truck is basically, they've done it for efficiency reasons. First thing being, they want the engine temperature to get up to temperature sooner, quicker, faster, so that it can run more efficiently. The stock thermostat is set at 203 degrees. I'll link another video in the description below, but basically, if you try, um, 203 degrees is pretty hot. It's not performance oriented, it's more from an efficiency standpoint. Everything runs and burns a little bit cleaner. You can uh, have cleaner emissions that way. So that's why the truck is designed to run that way. This thing is trying to get the truck up to 203 degrees and keep it around the 200 degree mark. So what happens is if you have these installed, these are gonna try to stay closed to get you to the 200 degree mark. And the other video that I just mentioned, basically I put a 180 degree thermostat in my truck for performance reasons, and these were trying to stay closed to try to get my truck up to the 200 degree uh, level. Even though the thermostat was opening, circulating the coolant through the engine and the radiator, this was impeding the airflow basically. So that's one of the reasons why I removed it. The other reason, so basically, if it's winter, you guys live in a cold climate, these things will try to stay closed to bring your temperature uh, up or get it there sooner. So that's one reason. The second reason is it's supposed to improve aerodynamics. So basically, these will stay closed while you're on the freeway in an effort to try to get air instead of going into the grill to pass over top of the hood and over top of the vehicle. So that is what they're there for. So those are basically the reasons why they're installed. Now let's get into the reasons why you might wanna remove them. If you're like me and you deleted the mechanical fan, which basically creates a load on your engine and um, basically robs a little bit of horsepower from the engine, if you remove your mechanical fan, um, there's not a lot of free airflow passing through your radiator. Um, what happens is you're only left with this portion at the bottom and this is gonna stay closed the majority of the time. Um, and basically this is trying to stay closed while you're on the freeway this is the only air you have passing through and if you have the mechanical fan which is basically constantly going to be spinning whether you like it or not it won't be fully locked up at all times but the mechanical fan is basically going to spin with the engine because there's a little bit of parasitic drag so it's always going to spin that's enough to basically suck air through here enough to cool the engine but what happens is you're on the freeway this is staying closed and uh, you're not getting much airflow except for whatever can pass through this small opening. So you have this issue where your fan is constantly cycling on and cycling off even when you're on the freeway when you could have easily had enough airflow had these been open. Problem is, is on Diablo Sport of the tuners, you can't tune when you want these to open. Um, you can only tune your fan uh, and only control your fan operation. You can't actually tune this. So you can, you can delete these, you can turn them completely off or disable them but you can't actually tune when these things open and close it's buried somewhere in the programming and as far as I know Diablo Sport uh, doesn't have any control over these you can only disable them so let's get into another reason why I'm, I'm deleting mine the reason why I'm deleting mine is because we're gonna be putting a pro charger in here and basically the inner cooler is gonna be taking up all the room behind the grill we also want to get as much cooling at that inner cooler as possible so that is the other reason why I've removed mine 
So hopefully that clears things up for you guys as why you might want to remove yours, what they do, why they're on the truck. I haven't noticed any change in miles per gallon or fuel economy since removing them. Um, even though it's apparently supposed to do something, I've just noticed my temperatures are now rock steady. They stay where they're supposed to stay. They're much cooler. It's running at about 185 degrees now. Um, unless I'm in dead stop traffic, then my fan comes on. But now it's working as things should be. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Any comments, questions, be sure to leave a comment in the comments below and ask a question there. There's usually myself or other people that are part of this ramp community that can help you and answer your questions, whether it's to do with the active grill shutters or anything else. Also, make sure to check out the Instagram page. So it's at Boosted Motorsports. Same as the YouTube channel name. And we're also on Facebook. If you want to search Boosted Motorsports, we're, we're online there too. But wherever you guys want to follow along is cool with me. So as always, guys, new videos on the YouTube channel. And make sure you're subscribed. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.